Multi scripts are the same as instrument scripts except they work on a multi level and only support MIDI. This allows you to process MIDI globally across your contact instance. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to monitor MIDI with a multi script. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ADSR Toots. The multi script is basically the same syntax as instrument scripts. The main differences are the multi scripts works on a pure MIDI event basis. There are there aren't any note on or on release or on controller callbacks. Every MIDI event triggers the on MIDI and callback. And there are also various built-in variables for the different MIDI bytes. You access the multi-script tab by pressing the KSP button in the multi-header. And just like instrument scripts, multi-scripts are saved with the multi. So instrument scripts are saved with the instrument, multi-scripts are saved with the multi. And GUI-wise, they look identical except the, the height. So with the multi script, you're limited to only three grid spaces. Also, when you want to access um, pre-existing scripts, um, such as in your presets, um, they reside in your multi scripts folder in your contact user directory. So the multi script only has two callback types on MIDI in and various on UI control callbacks. And each MIDI event like note controller program change, etc., is triggered on the MIDI in callback. So you just need to understand the, the different internal structure of event processing in the multi script versus how it's, how, how it's handled in the instrument script. So on the instrument level, you can retrieve event IDs of notes. Um, and you do this by using um, event ID. And this works on the on note and on release callback. But at the multi level, the income MIDI has a unique ID and you retrieve this unique ID with event ID. So what this means is you can't use, um, well, what this means is event ID can be a note event. It could be a controller message or program change. Um, and because of that, you cannot use functions such as change node or change velocity because event ID may not refer to a note. It may refer to a MIDI event. And the most important thing to remember is that the multi script processes MIDI and the instrument script processes events. So a note event is tied to a voice and a MIDI event is tied to a note events at the instrument level. So you know, once again, this means that other functions such as play node and change tune won't work in a multi script. So let's take a look at the basic structure of what a MIDI message looks like when working with a multi script. So first we want to put our on MIDI in callback. And then I'm going to check the MIDI command. I'm going to see if it equals a controller value. And if it does, I'm going to write a message in the message section. So don't have a typo. Here we go. Okay. So now if I hit my note on my MIDI keyboard, nothing is displayed. But now if I move a controller, you see that the message is displayed. Okay. So this is what the basic structure of working with MIDI looks like when you use a multi script. All right. So let's uh, monitor some different MIDI. Uh, events. So I am going to check the MIDI command. I'm going to see if it equals MIDI command note on. And I want to check if the bytes 
And this is how you access access the different values of the MIDI event. Um, I'm going, you know, there's MIDI byte, there's MIDI byte one and MIDI byte two, depending on which event type it is. And I'm going to check if MIDI byte two is greater than zero. If it is, I am going to type in note on. All right, so now look down here. I'm going to hit a note on my keyboard, note on. Let's take a look at how we can um, do note off. So depending on your, your MIDI controller, um, your MIDI controller might send note off, a explicit note off command, or it might send note on again and just change the value. So I know for a fact that my MIDI controller, which is a M Audio Axiom um, 25, it does not send a note off command, but rather it sends note on again, and this time a value of zero. So to access that, I'm going to leave it on note on and just change the, the MIDI byte two to equal zero. And this is how I get my note off. All right, note on, note off, note on, note off. Okay, now let's see how we can access um, CC. So if you're paying attention, you already saw that we did CC, and that is CC. And um, for CC, it has MIDI bytes, but we don't have to check. We don't care um, which controller it is. So we'll just leave it if it's MIDI CC. So we'll just change this to controller. Oops, typo. It's MIDI. Command CC is the right command. And now you see I'm turning the knob on my controller. We have controller data. Note on, note off, controller data. Okay, let's see how we can um, see pitch bend. So the constant for pitch bend is MIDI command underscore pitch underscore bend there we go pitch bend so the multi script is extremely powerful and can be used for more than just monitoring a uh, MIDI you can create MIDI events or even block specific MIDI events as well. For more information, be sure to check out the KSP reference. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR Contact Tutorials, Supercharger Contact Skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. I go make some music.